Well, the Arizona Wildcats made some coaching changes. Marcel Yates, John Rushing, both out on the defensive side of the football. And we are now joined by Justin Spears of the Arizona Daily Star and ESPN Tucson. Justin, thanks so much for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me on, Jordan. Always appreciate the time. So the defense had struggled on and off throughout the year. What do you think ultimately was the last straw for Kevin Sumlin to make this move and move on from these coaches? Well, you know, Marcel Yates was in a different position than maybe, you know, some of the other coaches because Marcel Yates has been here since, you know, Rich Rodriguez was here. You know, he's been the he's been the defensive coordinator ever since 2016. So he's had, you know, three plus years to kind of figure it out. And while the defense has trended uh, in the right direction, it still hasn't made great improvement. And when you look at, you know, the talent that they have on that side of the ball, you know, with guys like Colin Schooler, uh, Jalen Harris, Anthony Pandy, Tony Fields, uh, Jace Whitaker. You know, this defense is much better than what they've shown, especially over the last few years. And you look at the last three games, uh, you know, Arizona's given up 41 points, 41 points, and they also gave up 51 points against Washington. So you look at, you know, what they've done this year, not much improvement. And under you know, Marcel Yates, Arizona – hasn't ranked higher than ninth in the Pac-12 and total defense and points per game. Right now, they're ranked 11th. So, you know, it, it hasn't been a great season for Marcel Yates. I would have thought they might have given him until the end of the year. But, um, you know, right now, I think they needed to make a decision because, you know, with National Signing Day coming up, with the spring period coming up, uh, they got to get, you know, things, you know, kind of put together so they can figure out what they want to do come 2020. So Chuck Cecil taking over the defense now, obviously has ties to the NFL running defenses. What do you expect from him and what do you think the, the overall reaction is to having him step in in that position? You know, it, it's an interesting situation because, you know, Chuck Cecil was uh, an analyst. He was a defensive analyst for Arizona. How does a guy who coached, uh, defenses in the, in the National Football League go from that to, you know, being an analyst. You always had this feeling that Chuck Cecil was the next guy in line, uh, whether it was, you know, coaching the defensive backs, being the defensive coordinator, or heck, even being the head coach. You always felt that Chuck Cecil was due for a bigger role on this Arizona coaching staff, and now he's going to get his chance. And, you know, this is an audition. These next four games – that Arizona has coming up. They got Oregon State this week. Uh, they got Oregon on the road. They have uh, Utah at home. And then to close things out, they have to go up to Tempe and play ASU. This is an opportunity for Chuck Cecil to really put things together and show that he's capable of running this Arizona defense. Justin, we appreciate the time and the insight as always. Thanks so much. Hey, thanks a lot, Jordan. Appreciate it.